Hello, and it is that time of month again. It is the end of March, which means a March wrap-up. But since I wasn't able to do a February wrap-up, I'm going to combine the two. A lot of these books I don't actually have. They're mostly from the library. So in February, I read Isla and a Happily Ever After, and that was by Stephanie Perkins. This is the third book in the Companion trilogy. I enjoyed that it was fast and easy to read, how all the characters were in each other's books, but it's not my favorite series. I think I only gave it like a three or a three and a half out of five. It wasn't very memorable. Um, I didn't like it as much as the hype built it up, so I think that was part of the problem. Since it's so built up, I expected so much from it, and I just really didn't get that from the series. The next book I read was Illuminae, and this is by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. So for this one, I think at 100 pages in, I really didn't care about it. I didn't get along with the characters. I didn't really care about what was happening. It just wasn't working for me. Um, but after that 100 page mark, I really started to enjoy it. Um, it just took me a bit to sort out who everyone was in my head in the ships since so much happened and it was really confusing keeping it all organized. I gave it a 3.5 out of 5. The next book I read was Passenger by Alexander Bracken. I gave this one a 4 out of 5. I really enjoyed it. So it's about a girl who travels through time and she has to find, I think it's the astrolobe, to save her mother. I forget the name of the main girl, but the love interest, his name is Nicholas Carter, I think, Nicholas Carter. But there is insta-love between them, but it didn't really bug me that much. Sometimes it bugs me, sometimes it doesn't. In this case, it really didn't irritate me at all. I also really enjoyed the story. I liked how they traveled through different periods of time. The next book I read in February was Crystal Kingdom by Amanda Hawking. I really enjoyed how this trilogy wrapped up. It wasn't my favorite trilogy. I don't think... Yeah, it wasn't my favorite trilogy, but I really did enjoy it. It was entertaining, fast-paced and exciting. It was just something that I could read in a day. So if I really just wanted to read a book and just finish it, that is one that is a good go-to because you can just read one of those books in a day, which I can't normally do, so it was very exciting for me. The fifth and final book I read in February uh, was The Girl Last Seen by Heather Anastasiu and Anne Greenwood Brown. And this was a book I received off NetGalley. For like the first few pages, I just really didn't care. It took me so long to actually get up the, I don't know, the urge to read it because I just really didn't want to. But then at page 70, I was like, I cannot put this down. And I read it in one night. I read the whole book in one night. I just could not put it down. I stayed up till like two o'clock reading it. So... I really did enjoy it. It's a whodunit novel, uh, YA. It's fun. You can guess the ending, kind of, but then there's like a bunch of twists in there that I didn't guess, but I guessed half of what happened, which was exciting. And now on to my March wrap-up. Since I had uh, Gwyn on um, March 3rd, I honestly didn't do much reading in March. Uh, I somehow managed to read three books since she's been born, which is crazy, mostly because family has been visiting. So when one of her grandmas or grandfathers were holding her, I would take that opportunity to read or sleep or do other stuff. So I, I read three books. It's very exciting. The first book I read in March was Starflight by Melissa Landers. I really enjoyed this one. I think I gave it a four to five stars. I didn't know if I want to give it a five out of five. I wasn't really sure. So this one is about Solera and Doran, I think that's his name. Uh, so Solera is trying to find a passage um, to the outer planets, outer realm, to find work. Since she has a criminal history, she can't really find good work. So she's going on the outskirts because they might not care as much if she has criminal background. But the problem is no one wants to hire her because once they find out she has a criminal background, they really don't want to hire her. She finally sees a guy that she went to school with. They really did not get along. 
but he hires her and that trip is awful. He just makes her work and do ridiculous things like get him a cup of water in the middle of the night or just stupid things like that. Um, but she ends up kidnapping him and she ends up getting him to work for her. And yes, they're on this other ship. They meet interesting people, they meet interesting and terrifying things. And if you have watched the show Firefly, this has very many similarities. And I really liked Firefly. And I really liked this novel. The last two books in March that I read uh, were by Kierkast, and they were The Selection and The Elite. Um, I really liked The Selection. It was fun. I read it so quickly, which was surprising because I'm running on empty now. But I read it so quickly and I liked it so much more than The Elite. In The Elite, she was really irritating me. America and Maxon, I think that's the prince's name, um, the relationship in The Elite just bugged me so much. But that's the second book, so I can't really talk about it. Um, the selection is kind of like The Bachelor. There's a prince and he has to pick one of, what's it, like 30 something girls, and he has to pick one that he wants to marry. So that's like the premise of it, but then there's also the whole hierarchy of how, um, I think it's called castes, and that's the level of wealth for each person. There is one to eight, eight is homeless, one is royalty. Um, America's Singer is number five, I think, and she, they're musicians and artists. Those are all the books I read in February and March. In April, I have a bunch of books that I want to read, a couple that I need to read probably first. I have my phone because they're books from NetGalley, and I have three of them. So the first one that I need to read first is Finding Hope, and this is by Colleen Nelson. The next one is Flawed by Cecilia Ahern. The next one is Once Upon a Dream by Liz Braswell. The first one that I'm currently reading is Uprooted by Naomi Novik. I am on page 156. I really enjoy it so far. It's super fun. The next book from the library that I really want to read is this one, and it is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. The second book is out now, and I've heard so many amazing things about this one and the second one so I really want to read this before I take it back to the library because it is due back in a couple days and then I have three books here that I have currently started I'm not too concerned about these ones I can finish them next month since I should read the net galley books and the library books first but if for some magical case um, Highly doubtful, but in case it happens, I finish all of those books and still have time left over. I have The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, which I was reading last month for Freedom to Read Week. Next, I have The Siren by Kier Cass, which I just started and I'm only on page 46. Then I have 10,000 Skies Above You by Claudia Gray. I am on page 78. I think I was reading this in January and then I had to put it off for a little bit. So these are some of the books I really want to read in, um, what month is it, April? Except today I am picking up The Winner's Kiss, so I will probably just push everything aside and start reading that today. So thank you for watching my February and March wrap up and my April TBR. I hope you enjoyed it.